generation of the Corolla, the world's favorite vehicle, favorite sedan. So you'll notice that we have two distinct styles here. Yes. So currently our Corolla, the one that we will be replacing with these new ones, has that where we have a sporty look and a prestige look. And you've seen that come across with our Camry and our Avalon and as the, the RAV4s you just drove, where we have multiple faces. So there's gonna be a Corolla for everyone. So then we're introducing a hybrid. So we'll have that offering. And then we have these two different styles. This is our prestige style. And you'll just have to trust me on this and when you get to walk around, you can look for yourselves. This is our XLE. So this is the face that you will see on our L, LE, and XLE trims. And then this is the sporty trim, the SE and XSE will have this style. Basically from a content standpoint, the XLE and the XSE are basically the same. One is for, sporty version. Yeah. One is for the more modern customer and then one is for the more sporty customer. Um, so I'm going to focus my talking points on this sporty car, on the XSE. And then if there is any differentiation, I will make sure I bring that up so you can understand the differences between these two. So let's, we already started talking about style, let's continue to talk about style. As you'll notice, we've incorporated the trapezoidal front grille on both of these vehicles. It's smaller and more aggressive on this one. And you can see these horizontal LED accent lights, which really give that wide appearance. Now one of my favorite things is that, here's the hood, here's the fender. We've actually pulled the, the fenders out to give it some protruding arches or fender flares. Um, I'm really excited that we're able to do that. And again, that goes along with the front style to give it a better, stronger presence. And then your eyes will move up to these fantastic Triple J LED headlights, um, standard LEDs on the Corolla, so we're really excited about that. And then as your eyes move forward, you'll see this strong body lines that will um, carry all the way across into the back. Now another thing to notice is we've integrated this dark gray metallic paint that's on the front bumper. It's also on the wheels and on the side rockers of this sport model. Um, you notice that the standard sunroof is going to be available on these XLE and XSE trims. And as we move towards the back, uh, when that body line comes all the way back around the back, and on the front of this we have a honeycomb mesh look on that front bumper. It's also carried uh, to the back as well to bring that integration along with that dark gray. The spoiler is dark gray on the XSE to add more of that style and presence. We have smoked LED tail lamps on this sport model and a dual tip, dual tip exhaust. So now let's talk about some of the technology that we've shoehorned into this vehicle. Um, there's a lot, and we're gonna talk about a lot of things that are standard on Corolla that aren't necessarily standard in this subcompact segment. So as we move forward to the rear suspension, we We've integrated a multi-link rear suspension on this Corolla as standard equipment. So that's a big improvement to handling and the personality traits of these vehicles. Now this, this vehicle has a sport tuned suspension, where this one is more of a modern refined suspension. And as we move forward to the interior, we have integrated our soft text material, which is a sustainable, eco-friendly, leather-like material all throughout. This one has full soft text seats where this one has mixed media of soft text and premium fabric. That's really there for a, um, a style and design aspect. But they wanted the interior to be modern and open and sophisticated. So you'll see that the dash has gotten smaller and wider. And we've integrated that seven inch MID screen that you saw on the RAV. We also have an eight inch touchscreen as well, which houses our latest Intune 3.0. So, so again, let's talk about some standard equipment, technology, that's on all Corollas, which is Apple CarPlay, Amazon Alexa integration, so you can add milk to your grocery list while you're driving or play 20 questions or almost all of the Amazon Alexa skills you can do within your car while driving, which is fantastic. Another great one is Safety Connect, which is if you have a collision, it'll automatically call a call center, they'll check on you, send emergency vehicles if needed. If you're having an emergency, or uh, uh, if you need roadside assistance, you can push the button or even stolen vehicle locator. And again, that's all standard equipment on all Corollas. Now these higher trim models come with our remote connect as well. So you can use your smart device or your watch, smart watch, to lock, unlock, uh, start, stop, 
and even check the fuel levels of your vehicle. So we're really excited that we've been able to, again, pack all, that, all those technologies into this vehicle, and again, at a subcompact price point. As we move forward, let's talk about some more fantastic technology. So we are going to offer, not only from a style perspective, but from a drivetrain perspective, three drivetrains for our customers. So we talked about hybrid, we'll get more details to come, but we have a 1.8 with the CVT in this vehicle, and then for the first time that I can think of in a while, if you get a sport trim, you get more horsepower, more torque, and a bigger engine. So our sport grades will have a two liter TNGA developed engine that's putting on 169 horsepower and 151 foot pounds of torque. And that's made with your choice of a really cool CVT that has a fixed first gear, which helps on launch and takeoff and gets that direct feel. Or your choice of that uh, intelligent manual transmission that will do the rev matching and the stall suppression. So we're again excited to bring manual, not only from the hatchback, but to the sedan as well. Only in that. On the sport grades, we're bringing the, the manual. So as we move forward, um, oh, one other thing I forgot to talk about. We've, our, we've worked with our partners at JBL to bring JBL back to the Corolla. So we're really excited to have an available nine speaker, 800 watts, 10.4 inch subwoofer equipped JBL system on these Corollas. And then last but not least, you may notice that you know, we've incorporated this, this three-dimensional glossy Toyota logo on a lot of our vehicles. Well, that's because behind there is our millimeter wave radar, which is always on and, and working. And we have our forward-facing camera. Those two <coughs> sensors work as the platform and the basis of our Toyota Safety Sense 2.0. So we, we're excited to continue to carry the flag of safety and standardize Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 on these Corollas, as we have on the Corolla hatchback, um, that you've also learned about with recently on the RAV4. So it's anchored by our pre-collision system with automatic emergency braking for vehicles, pedestrians, and even bicyclists. Um, then we have lane departure alert with steering assist, automatic high beams, full speed dynamic radar cruise control, road sign assist and lane tracing assist where the vehicle will be making constant steering inputs to keep the vehicle centered in its lane. And what better way to avoid an unintended lane departure accident than by having the vehicle help you stay in the center of your lane all the time. Where's the radar on that one? Yeah. Great question. So we didn't forget it. It's on this one too. It's just behind this black panel. So again, we're excited to continue to carry that flag of safety and we're excited to introduce these 12th generation paroles.